Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Porter wire and lingual wire technique involves construction of certain types of solder joints. The joining of a Mershon tube to a molar band, Loctite wire addition onto the main lingual wire or porter wire, and also the addition of various spurs and auxiliary springs onto porter wires and lingual wires to hold teeth or to do minor tooth movement. To attach the Mershon tube onto the lingual of a molar band, you first add stainless steel flux to the middle one-third of the lingual surface of the molar band. You add solder onto that lingual surface. You can clean off the excess flux on that soldered surface with a file. And inspect the solder that you've added onto the lingual surface of the molar band. You add flux over the top of that solder that you've added on there. Just a thin coat will do. And you then position the half round tube onto the lingual surface of the molar band. Be sure that the half round tube is properly oriented. The wider end of the half round tube goes to the occlusal. You place it onto the lingual surface of the molar band. There are different dimensions for maxillary and mandibular molar band placement of the Mershon tube. Modified soldering forceps are used to hold the tube in place while the solder joint is made. The ends of a locking forceps, locking tweezers, are bent so that they oppose one another. You hold the tube onto the lingual surface of the molar band with these locking forceps and make the solder joint by passing the combined band and tube into the flame. When the solder has flowed and you can see it flow all the way around the tube you remove a band from the flame and inspect your solder joint. You want to be sure that solder has flowed completely around the tube. All the edges of the tube are joined with solder, smooth continuous solder joint to the band metal. Also, you have to be sure that no solder has flowed down into the tube to prevent the precision fit of the Mershon shaft down in that tube. Loctite wires are added on to porter and lingual wires to hold the Mershon shaft down in the Mershon tube. This is the Loctite wire engaging the gingival end of the Mershon tube and holding the shaft down in place. Loctite wires can be made out of dead soft gold wire or out of brass separating ligature wire. If gold wire is used, then gold solder and gold flux is used to make that solder joint. If brass separating wire is used, well, stainless steel 
solder and stainless steel flux is used. A ball of stainless steel solder has been added on to the end of this piece of brass separating wire. Flux has been added onto the gold wire at the spot where we want the solder to flow. To make the solder joint, slightly cross the brass wire with the gold wire, and then you're going to pull it down into an angular relationship with the main wire. The solder joint should be smooth and continuous, free of pits and surface defects. Brass separating wire is also dead soft so that it can be flexed under the tube or opened as the case may be to allow quarter wires to be inserted or removed from the mouth. Spurs and auxiliary springs are added on to quarter wires and lingual wires to hold teeth or to do minor tooth movement. To add a spur onto a main wire, gold solder and gold flux is used. A ball of solder is added onto the end of the spur wire. Flux is added onto the main wire where you want to make the solder joint. The wires are placed in contact with one another and moved into the soldering flame. You heat the wire that is intended to have the solder flow to it. Solder flows to heat. The finished solder joint should be smooth, continuous, free of pits and surface defects. Strong solder joint. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.